A proper financial plan will address every aspect of your financial picture. But oftentimes, one component that is not properly addressed is personal debts. Hi, I'm Jackie. Welcome to Ocean 6, where we change Canadian business owners' lives by making financial goals a reality. Not many people know that successful business owners use debt as a vehicle for wealth creation. A common example of this are mortgages. A mortgage is both a debt and a wealth creation tool. Most people don't have the cash to buy a property, so we use debt to help us acquire that asset sooner. When we work with a new client, we often find out that no one has ever strategized their debts with them in an effective manner. People think that if you have a mortgage, that they should just stick with it and pay off the debt in 25 or 30 years, and that's the only way. What if I told you there are better and faster ways than the traditional approach to paying off debt? Financial advisors who really have your best interests at heart will walk you through the benefits of tax deductibility. Building innovative debt strategies to save you tax and get you further ahead is the second step in our blueprint planning process. You see, the industry doesn't really reward financial advisors for spending the time to review your debt as there's no compensation in it for them. What traditional advisors tend to focus on is how much you can save in a month and therefore how much you can put towards investments or insurance. However, this leaves a missed opportunity to restructure your debts to either pay them off faster or free up more cash for you to use immediately. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that you just pay minimum off your debt to create more tax savings, but rather, are you paying off your debts effectively? As a fee for advice financial planner, we know the important role debt plays in a financial plan and take the time to recommend innovative strategies to create more wealth and lower interest payments. A classic example of this is when a business owner has investment properties, they normally have a traditional mortgage set up for their investment properties. However, tax-wise, it doesn't make sense to pay down the investment property until we pay off the debt on the principal residence. You see, interest paid on mortgages for your principal home is not tax deductible whereas interest on investment properties are. So by switching to interest-only payments on your investment properties, you can reallocate the rental profits towards paying off your principal home faster and you'll be able to maximize tax savings doing it. Chances are the interest rate on your investment home mortgage and your principal residence are very similar or slightly higher, but this strategy will reduce tax and speed up the time it takes for you to pay off the total debt. In one particular case, I was able to save a client $7,000 in tax savings and interest savings for 25 years. Quite simply put, if you're not careful with how you structure your debts, you are either donating money to the CRA or to the banks. You might be wondering why haven't you heard of this strategy before? Well, like I said, if you understood how financial advisors are being compensated, then you can see that they don't necessarily have the skills or the time to address this with you. However, with the fee for advice financial planner, we have the fiduciary duty to work on your best interests and save you thousands of dollars back. In our blueprint planning process, we teach simple ways to identify which debts to focus on first and which debts will give you the most benefits. The power of a paid financial plan is that you get a whole holistic picture and every component of your money is working hard for you and not the other way around. If you're feeling stuck and want unbiased, transparent advice, book a call. I'd love to help.